Hi, and welcome back to our channel. Merc Sergeant here. For those of you familiar with my channel, you may be familiar with this particular device right here. If not, I will leave an annotation up in the top corner there, a little card. Click on it, go ahead, watch the video. This is the V8 Multiple Adjustable Pulse Sender. So what it does, in, in kind of short, and you can watch the video, is it, it has eight different pulses that you can select from, and then it sends it on to a storage unit or a store or any kind of thing that you would need eight pulses uh, to be selectable between there. And you can have any length of pulses. You can have, you know, anywhere from two to, I don't know, 100 or 50 or whatever, whatever it is you need. So that's what this is. So, you know, again, if you're familiar with the channel, you're familiar with this, this particular device. But what you might not be familiar with is this right here. And this is what I'm calling the pulse memory cell. So what it does is it takes all the pulses from the V8 right here and stores them in a, in a particular memory cell and allows you to access them at a later time. So say, for example, for this, um, we're going to have an item coming down these ice chutes going off to a, a selector or decoder, and, and then it's going to be coming back. We don't want this to pulse until that item has come back and we you know we know that it's already been decoded so that's why we need to store these pulses and we wanted it to be fairly easy so right off of here um, when we press the selector it's also going to send the pulses to this and once that item comes back excuse me once that item comes back then it's going to allow the pulses to go on so this right here is the pulse memory cell without everything else all around it. So you can kind of get a better look at it. Uh, to break it down here real quick, we have an observer. And that is pointing into this dropper filled up with items. I've got redstone in here, but you can put any particular item that you want in here. That dropper is facing down into this dropper, which is facing down into these two hoppers. What it's going to do is when that observer is activated, it's going to pulse this dropper sending one item into here and holding it into there. As you can see, we got this redstone block over here, and that is locking this hopper, not allowing items to go into this hopper. Once it does, once we unlock that hopper, okay, it's going to send items across to here, which is read by this comparator, which powers this dropper, and also locks this hopper, not allowing any other items to go past. This observer will read it and then send the pulses on down that line. What's also going to happen is those items are going to continue into this dropper, which is read by this comparator, and then activates this, which sends the dropper or the items up back into here. This is also activated, this rail, which is read by these two observers, and pulses these droppers right here, sending the items right back here where they all started. So, kind of how to show it in function. So we got the uh, we got that hopper locked, okay. And we're gonna go ahead and pulse this. Let's see, we're gonna pulse that three times. Well, we're gonna pulse it four times. Now, what you would do over here is wherever you're gonna run this line. You know, you would have to, again, you know, get an observer off of it. And what we're going to do for this particular one is we're going to get a dropper full of items. Okay, as you can see, we're, it's full of items. And we're going to go ahead and then make a little box around here. All right. Okay. And those items are going to come and just, you know, kind of hang out right there. All right. So... We've activated, so we got four items in here. We should, if everything goes accordingly, get four items right here. So once we've done everything that we need to do, you know, we, we decoded stuff, we're going to go ahead and unlock that hopper. And then as you can see, we're getting, we're getting the pulses going down the line. All right. And then uh, we'll go ahead and pick up our items. As you can see, we've had four pulses go through the memory cell. Perfect. So it is working exactly how we want it to so that is about it 
Uh, I think I've covered pretty much everything, and you, of course, you would have to go ahead and relock that hopper so that nothing can come through. And as you can see, you know, all the items have returned. Nothing is left in these remaindering, remaining droppers there. Nothing's left down in there. So that's it, man. Uh, that's the uh, pulse memory cell in all of its glory. If you know you have like a, you know, you need to store pulses for a later use, this is the perfect device uh, for it. I tried to compact it as best I could with you know with what I was working with, and this is what I came up with. Uh, world download in the in the bottom. By the way, uh, as far as my world downloads, I do use Forge for a lot, uh, pretty much every build that I do. So uh, the observers, once you, if you do download it and you're not using Forge, the observers are going to be glitched out. So just kind of a little heads up for you guys uh, when when pulling out my world downloads. Uh, maybe in the future I might might change it up and, and do world downloads without using Forge. Uh, but hey, if you guys like this video, please click the like button, subscribe if you want to see more technical builds like this. Uh, I'm I'm trying to come out with new new stuff that I haven't seen out in the Minecraft community and share it with you guys. I I use it occasionally. I've got another build I'm working on. It's a smaller device, but I'm gonna. You know, as, as I come up with these things and we put them on our server, which, by the way, server is Goonbox. Uh, we got a Discord. Please join the Discord. We're always sharing cool stuff, and we would love to get with the technical community and just share thoughts and ideas. Uh, we also have a lot of decorative building-type players on our server, and, you know, we, we share ideas as far as that is concerned as well. So, again, like, subscribe. And we'll see you guys on the next one. Take it easy.